my god, everybody, it's Kiss Wednesday, and Joe Hampson donated for this track by track album battle, which is the first Kiss album versus Creatures of the Nights. I love them both, but man, I, I love that first Kiss album now to the point where it used to be rock and roll over, but I think the first Kiss album is the greatest Kiss studio album, unless we're talking about the Ace Fairly solo album that has a Kiss logo on it, but it doesn't. So now my favorite studio album from Kiss is the first album. Love Creatures, but I like Lick It Up more. You know, I mean, Creatures, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people online say, it's the greatest. The greatest Kiss album. That's cool that you think that. I'm more into the 70s Kiss. Love it. You know, hey, Lick It Up is pretty much the sister album of Creatures. So, you know, I do love it. I love Creatures. It's a great album. Not slamming it. Just saying H. Peter, Paul, and Gene is Kiss to me. That is Kiss. All right, so we start with Strutter versus Creature of the Night. I love them both, but I'm going with Creature of the Night, believe it or not. Yep. Much as I love Strutter in the 70s sound, Creature of the Night, out of the gate, badass tune. All right, next, uh, Nothing to Lose versus Satan Sinner. Again, I love them both, but I'm going with Creatures again. Satan Sinner wins. Love what Eric Carr does on that song. It's ridiculously cool. All right, next, uh, Firehouse versus Keep Me Coming. Another one for Creatures of the Night. I love Keep Me Coming. Sweet little innocent girl. Da -da 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 -da. A badass tune. Love it. Very underrated. Um, all right. Then we got Cold Gin versus Rock and Roll Hell. Now the first album is on the map. Definitely Cold Gin. Not, not even a second thought on that one. Cold Gin for sure. Next, Let Me Know versus Danger. Now Kiss's first album is fighting back. I'm going with Let, Let Me Know. Absolutely love that song. Deep track. The only one they don't play. Oh, no, no. They also don't play uh, Love Team. But everything else they play on this album. Uh, live, you know, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with Let Me Know. All right, now we, uh, we got uh, Deuce versus Love It Loud. I got to go with Deuce, man. Yep, first album is uh, starting to kick some ass here. Definitely got to go with Deuce. Next, love theme from Kiss versus I Still Love You. Uh, I got to go with I Still Love You. I don't like love theme from Kiss. And I don't like I Still Love You when it's played live. But this studio version on Creeps of the Night rules. So I'm giving it to this version. All right, next. 100,000 Years versus Killer. Both great songs, but... I got to go with 100,000 Years. Classic Kiss on steroids. Love it. All right, then we got the final song, which is War Machine versus Black Diamond. Probably the toughest of it, but no, no, no. I got to go with the greatest Kiss song of the 70s, Black Diamond. So there you go, Joe. This here is the final score. And I want to thank you, Joe, and I want to thank all of you out there that are listening to me now. Leave your comments below what you feel about Kids and Creatures of the Night. If you put them head to head, uh, you know, what you all think. Leave it in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and ring that little notification bell. I would really appreciate that. Hey, and like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob.